here is a case of solitary functioning kidney supine pcnl planning when there is large volume stone with hepatomegaly 22 years old young female right loin pain fever one week right renal calliculi left contracted kidney reason not known right digestanting done outside and referred for further management now i am discussing the ct here in the ct if you see there is a large stone with hepatomegaly small kidney here this is a small kidney dtps function is shown less function less than 10 percent hepatomegaly is present upper pole is covered under the liver almost upper pole under the liver very narrow window here and see here very narrow window and slightly anteriorly located stone again in the pelvis stent is in situ lower pole probably stone is not present in reconstructed view it may look different but better to see both in the reconstructed film if you see here the large stone is in the lower pole to pelvis and then upper pole large stone and one more stone is present large part of the kidney is covered with the liver and it is stented with this how to plan we have seen prone pcnl you can go through the lower calyx and reach the upper calyx and do it but reaching the upper calyx with curve may not be easy first thing is we have taken ultrasound and seen where the kidney is where the liver is that gives a lot of clue you need not have great knowledge just the place where you wanted to puncture this is the rgp see now we can choose uh, lower calyx but we have chosen middle calyx the reason we will tell in this video in this area there was no liver so we are safe so our method is movement of the kidney now we removed urine did not come but we were sure that there is and guide wire passed this is important thing when guide wire is not going when guide wire is not going in the pelvis remove it and withdraw 1 cm at the in the calyx only periphery now if the guide wire goes that is the most peripheral part of the calyx that is one point in solitary kidney we have to uh, remember that the most peripheral part of the kidney if you puncture see the dilatation is difficult in supine pcnl you can see here now after two three dilatations i use alken rod my plan is uh, to intermittently inject contrast and see where i am so that you don't damage the infundibulum solitary kidneys and now see this is 18 french dilatation this is 13.5 french surely uh, this thing come out see the infundibulum nice see the periphery of the calyx where you have punctured absolutely no bleeding that is good and break it in supine pcnl this is advantage break it liberally don't need to remove every piece will come out by itself if you rotate the ampulla sheath nicely around the stone with gentle flush it will come out this may be a low ounce field unit stone no problem but the mechanism of the stone removal breaking is same no need of laser here large pieces can come out no mucosal damage here see the stone is going into the ureter in the uh, prone sometimes you may not be able to go in supine you can go up to mid ureter easily i'm not saying this cannot be done with uh, uh, prone but i'm saying what are the advantages i had while doing the see the ureteric catheter see the mid ureter the stone was going and by flushing it came out and it came out into the mouth now i am going to the upper calyx this is the most important point from the middle calyx if you see rgp upper calyx large stone was there larger than my imagination i have broken and taken one one pipe piece this is the only time i used the forceps rest of all the times the stones were coming out by themselves there is nothing wrong in using the forceps and i have broken these stones again this piece is going into any calyx fear will not be there in this case it is a middle calyx again i am going into the upper calyx the end of the upper calyx because it looks down see how, how the upper calyx lateral part is seen medial part lateral part at the end i will show the rgp it was a difficult angle ampulla sheath withdraw and carefully travel into the now we are going to the inferior anterior calyx see how deep it is inferior anterior calyx almost calyx is seen only thing is that you will withdraw the ampulla sheath slowly 
no wear a drop of blood most peripheral puncture in contrast injected all this is the angle to the upper calyx how we could go to the upper calyx from the middle so lower calyx to upper middle to upper is easy in supine pcnl so in this case upper calyxial puncture was not necessary even in prone it might have not been necessary here at the end rgp has shown no problem and stented and post operatively patient did well the idea of sharing this case is whenever hepatomegaly hues is present just one shot of ultrasound where you are puncturing is very useful the mobility from one calyx to other calyx in supine is easy because it's horizontal and in case if anything small stone left behind rirs can be done automatically it becomes ecirs thank you